this video we're going to talk about how to reassociate a note and also how to drop association. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this note over on the left and we're going to copy it. Just going to use copy element. Going to go ahead and select the element. Going to snap to the end point down there. Data. And then I'm going to place the copy over here. Again, I'm snapping to the object here, the shape. Going to hit reset. And you can see the copy, the leader line is a thick dash line. That means there's a break in association. To reassociate that, I'm going to use my modify element tool. I'm going to access by hitting the number seven and then number one, just modify element. I'm going to snap to the end of that line, data. Now it's asking me to reposition it. I'm going to go to the exact same spot, data, and now it's associated. To prove that, I'm going to go to the move element tool and I'm going to go ahead and select these elements and I'm going to move them all over to the left and when I do that, you can see the leader lines go with them. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of undos. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is show how to drop association in case you don't want to reassociate it. So again, I'm going to go ahead and use the copy element tool and I'm going to copy this note. This time I'm going to place the note and I'm not going to be snapping to an object. And when I do that, you can see again, the thick dash line to drop that association. I'm going to go to my drop element tool. You can see on the main tool frame, there's an option there called drop association. I'm going to go ahead and select that data. And now the association is dropped. So it's no longer associated and it's not thick dash line, but I can easily reassociate it at any time because I didn't drop it from being a dimension. I just dropped its association. So if I use the modify element tool, and I go ahead and I select this. I can pick a point here and now it's reassociated to that element.